Hello. Hi, hey. We're here for episode number 41, and we're going to talk about some fun ways to learn today. Yeah. Because that, that's what we always kind of talk about, right? I know. Here yeah. are bad ways to learn. <laughs> here's, the, here's the stupid stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> now I made a car and get You did it. <laughs> All right, ladies, welcome back. Hey there. Welcome. It's episode number 41. We're going to talk about some fun winter learning ideas. This today. is great because the middle of winter can be depressing. <laughs> yeah. I often get the winter blues and blahs or whatever they're called. Yeah. I think um, it's winter blues. I don't know. The doldrums they're of they're all just blah. Yeah. January, February are kind of my least favorite months in this state that I live in because it's so gray and it cold. is it's just so cold and like it's the snow feels pointless after mm -hmm. Christmas so mm -hmm. like okay we had a white Christmas but like now go now away. go away and warm <laughs> back up yeah yeah so I have some ideas for you to um, just get your kids out in it and to learn and to have fun with the winter yeah, and to make it less painful. Yeah. I guess yeah. not everybody has snow. I know we have people That's true. all across the US. We do, and other places around the world even. So I know that everybody doesn't have snow, and I know what it's like growing up outside of a snowy place yeah, too, I so I get that. But first are some fun snowy ideas, but also I have some other ideas that don't require snow. Yeah, sorry, I forget about that other people aren't You know, freezing. Florida does not get snow, so sorry if you're listening from there. Yeah. But I just plan on visit leaving us the and state at the end of January <laughs> so that I'm not freezing. Yep, me too. <laughs> Except I'm going to somewhere Yeah, I was going to say you're going to New York. It's okay. That's, it's cool. Does New York get snow or just freezing? Oh, uh, yeah, it gets snow. Well, I guess, it, like, I know Upstate does, but does the city get snow? I would assume so. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I know she's going to be cold. I'll, I'll let you know. More, no, I'm sure it though. does. Get, it gets snow there. <laughs> so anyway, so Megan and I decided we just wanted to share a little more of what's happening on our own websites. We've done a lot of just, you know, general homeschool stuff. So we're going to start kind of doing a little more like here's what's happening on my site and on her site and, you know, some of the current stuff. So this yeah. one is some ideas from my own website of just fun ways to learn in the winter. Some principles and that I have and activities that I've posted there. Karen's website is like a candy land of homeschoolers. <laughs> I love that. It's brilliant, <laughs> but like, I love it. It's so fun and I really like, I always tease that I will look up something. I'm like, oh, it goes to Karen. Why didn't I just go there first? And so <laughs> her, you. her website is full of fun activities. Her Instagram has really cute printables, activities to do. I've totally copied them. I've used them for um, my classes for co-op. So they're brilliant. Thanks. You're sweet. So if you haven't been to my website, it is teachbesideme.com. You can find everything there. And in our show notes, um, I will put links to all the things that I mentioned today. Yeah. So first, just some fun winter activities. Um, like I said, I grew up in Southern Florida. Yeah. So winter to me is not always my favorite time of year. And often my kids will wanna go do things and I'm like, but it's so cold, I just wanna stay by the fire. So I've really tried to push myself to get them out there more and to do things outside. Gotta bundle up, but yeah. you can still get out and do a lot of fun learning activities. Um, we like to do a winter nature study. Um, couple times during the winter where we just go out and we explore and we look for animal tracks in the snow oh, um, we'll take out our little magnifying glasses and study the snowflakes and look for icicles and measure them and draw them and watch them drip if they're dripping if it's cold or melting um, and another really fun thing you can do is to get a whole jar packed full of snow and then just bring it inside and set it on the counter and watch it melt and see how much actual water the oh. snow creates and it's a whole lot less than you'd expect so it's really yeah. fun kids are always super surprised by that so that's a fun little thing um one of my girls favorites that we've done is a snow tea party oh that sounds and so cool. this so we have this picnic table in our backyard and when it snows it gets you know if it gets a couple inches of snow it's so cool to look out and you just see this it's still the table but it's just got inches of snow on top of it mm -hmm. so one day we went out and we set the table and put the little you know, little play dishes and stuff yeah. and they took all their little play dishes and they set the table and they got bundled up in their snow clothes and made little play snow food and they <laughs> molded little <laughs> cupcakes and just made this oh, their cute little tea party that's adorable. and it was so much fun they had just the best time so that's just a fun little get outside and explore activity. Yeah. Um, we've been really, we've been way better about this winter about getting out. Cause like, I love out being out and hiking. Yeah, yeah. And so with Master George, 
I had actually bought a sled with a like to pull him. Oh, nice. But then Joshua broke his foot. So Josh couldn't go hiking with us. So does he have to ride on the sled? No, so Josh just stays home with oh, the baby. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I'm like, you're pulling Josh? That's hard. Oh my gosh, no, that's he's like big. 100 and something pounds. That's, he's huge. He is like, big. my kids are, I think he might be the tallest, like, eventually. Like, mm -hmm. he's way taller than me. But anyway, so we've been doing a lot of winter hiking. And that's, that's so been fun. fun. With sleds, and oh, that was fun. a blast. Snowshoes are fun too to get in the winter. And you know what's funny? They're Do you not, not like them? They, we have them, oh, I think and we fun. actually rent them out. But kids in snowshoes, mm. that's unless they're like twelve plus. Yeah, yeah. Little, little kids, kids in snowshoes, I'm like, just, just don't, just don't take them. <laughs> <laughs> when your kids are a little bigger, try that out. Yes. Yeah, but no, like so we've been doing a lot of that, which has been fun. Of just, I don't know, just getting out and exploring and yeah. seeing the different. Uh, especially up in the mountain where the snow is much thicker, mm -hmm. how it forms on all the things and the animal It looks tracks so and... different in the winter yeah. than it does in the summer, so it's fun to go up and see the difference. Well, I think it's fun too, just like um, the up American Fort Canyon by where we live, there's a lake called Tibble Fort, mm -hmm. and it's frozen solid. I saw your husband posted a video of the someone playing hockey up there. Yes. That was so cool. So, and it like terrifies me to be out on the lake. Uh -huh. We walked across it and I was like, everybody hold on to your sled in case it breaks, like then you can just land <laughs> on it. But people were ice fishing, so then they got to see how deep the ice was. Oh, that's neat. And so I don't there's learning happens everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so like how why can we walk on the lake right now? Like how the temperatures have to be a certain right. degree and and why is there more snow just two miles away from our house versus right here. So, yeah. Yeah, that's like, neat. Everything is homeschool. <laughs> For sure. Yes. It's a way of living, right? Yeah. Um, another fun thing that we love to do, and this is more just artsy, but if you get some little spray bottles and fill them with um, colored water, you can oh. do food coloring or water, liquid water colors mm -hmm. or put a little bit of paint and swirl it around. Yeah. And you just go out and you spray paint on the snow. It is so much fun for younger kids. My kids love doing that. That's so much better than I've ever done spray paint, and that's such a mess. Oh, oh that is a mess. Better. No, just like water, it'll just melt away and wash away. Oh, that's so much so, better. And it's fun. It's easy. <laughs> I should have asked you before I broke out my spray bottle with spray cans. Yeah, that would be messy. It is. Like, how, how do people do this? I guess this is what they do. Just call me. I get, yeah. Call and then the another children. we love, we have, we have a big yard, and mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of different kinds of evergreen trees on it like yeah. many different kinds and I didn't realize that until one winter we went out and we're like okay we're gonna do nature study let's go see what we can find and we found like five different types of evergreens on our lot and all different sizes and shapes of pine cones and and it was so fun for us to just see I first of all I didn't even realize how many types there were and obviously there are but yeah. just never it's not something I really paid attention to so it was fun for me and for my kids to recognize the many differences in just an evergreen and so we drew them and compared the differences and then my kids made little pine cone animal things with like felt and beads and pipe cleaners made it into some cleaner. little crafty craft thing I don't remember now but they were cute <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun um another one this is inside for those of you that fear the cold like me <laughs> or allergic to cold <laughs> if you're allergic to cold and you prefer flip-flops to boots yeah. um this is just a fun little indoor activity you can do but get a can of shaving cream the one that comes out white and foamy oh like the old school kind. yeah the old kind that stinks <laughs> um <laughs> sorry <laughs> i just always think it smells bad and then um baking soda and you can mold it into these fun little shapes and it's like snow really? even if you want to put it in the fridge and make it cold I mean, does it, snow. Is it like way messy or does it stay It's way into? messy. But like Play-Doh messy or messier? Um, it's pretty messy. messy. Okay. So we do it on a big cookie sheet when okay. we make it. And, um, and then it, once you mold it into fun shapes, you pour some vinegar over it and it fizzes and foams and makes this big, very big messy mess. Yeah. But it's so fun. That sounds way fun. Do you ever add colors to it? Yeah, you can for sure. Or That's glitter. True. Glitter's oh. fun to add to. Glitter you. If you're a glitter person. <laughs> kind of a dangerous person. That's scary, I know. <laughs> glitter never ever leaves. <laughs> Funny story about glitter. My youngest daughter found some glitter and was making something with glitter this week, but she did it on her sister's desk. And her <gasps> sister got so mad and she's like, who did this? And she cleaned it all up and then the next day she did it again <laughs> with another oh color gosh. of glitter. She's like, why is there glitter everywhere? And it was just funny. So glitter, and it doesn't go away. It's Ever. hard to, to Like I have on. ribbons with glitter, and one of my kids thought it'd be funny to put it on the baby, like this <laughs> ribbon. And he had glitter on him for on his so head for days. long. And yeah. I just thought, 
I don't know if you spray him off with a hose to get this off. Like, <laughs> he just looked fabulous That's for funny. a feet. <laughs> now here's a few not so messy things that you can do. I have a lot of uh, printables that I've created and these are some winter themed ones that are a lot of fun to learn with. Um, when I have a winter geo board set, if you've never done geo boards, they're tons of fun. Are those the shapes they're, you put together? So, yeah, so it's okay. a square peg board and you just get rubber bands. Oh, and then okay. I have little cards that you can print that have shapes and patterns and there's different seasonal themes that I've done. And this one is all winter, so it has things like snowflakes and ice skates and a pot of soup and a mitten and just like cute little winter themed type things that you can yeah. create on the geo board. So those are really fun. My kids love doing those. Um, another one I have, it's called Animals That Hibernate in Winter. What a great science activity. Yeah, yeah, this is really fun for science. There's this book that we read called Over and Under the Snow. It's by Kate Messner. Mm -hmm. And she has a whole series of different ones, but this... Um, oh, here's another book I have to buy. It's a really <laughs> cute picture book, really cute picture book. And really educational, so it shows like what's going on above the snow and then it shows what's happening underneath, like the animals that are sleeping or burrowing, different things, and it's, it's really cool. Or under the pond, what's happening. It's really neat. So anyway, it was, it was kind of inspired by that, but I made just this cute little book that um, shows animals that hibernate and what, what their homes look like, and it's a lot of fun. So that's a fun principle you can that's get. That's such an them. easy science lesson, too, to mm -hmm. read the cute little book and then have it a fun activity yeah. with it. That's yeah. great. And then I have another one on animal migrations. Oh, awesome. That I love. This is a cool thing to teach about, and this is mapping them. So you get out. We have a big world map that I laminated a long time ago. And so we'll pull that out and we'll use our dry erase marker on it. But you could oh, just cute. do it on a little regular map too. Um, but there's, in this little printable, there's four different animals. It has, um, uh, let's see, an Arctic tern, a wildebeest, a monarch butterfly, and a sockeye salmon. Oh, so those are four animals that, far. yeah, they go really far. And so you can get out a map and you can track like, where they start and where they end their migrations. And it's really so cool great. to learn that because I don't think you are aware of how far these animals go. And no. um, so it's a fun science thing to teach with kids. Yeah, my kids are obsessed with maps too. I yeah, my kids too. love maps too. One time I... Well, for a long time, I took our maps and I put them, we have a glass top on our table mm. and I put it under the glass. And so it was just always on our table. That's and so fun. we, while we were, whatever, we'd look at our maps and I changed it one time. It was a world map. One time it was a U.S. map. And so it just helped them to just recognize and be familiar with it. So that was cool. That's really fun. Um, and then another, I have this Groundhog Day unit. Uh, that's just, just a fun little... Like, do you get to watch the Groundhog Day movie with it? Well, it doesn't go with the movie, but you could do that if you choose. I, I don't know how kid-appropriate that one was. I don't, I don't remember. remember. <laughs> it's a funny movie, though. Yeah. But no, it's just like teaching about it, the history behind it, and just what it's about. And then another just little game that I have on Groundhog Day. It's a probability game. Oh. So you start in the middle, and you roll your dice, and you have to see which way the groundhog ends up. Does he end up with winter or spring and just fun. That's Because so I feel like cute. the whole thing is just like a roll of the dice anyway. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. But it's <laughs> still a silly, fun little tradition. Lies so many times. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> what do they do the big Groundhog Day thing? Is, it, is that a real like, thing? Like Satani like, Phil, it's an, isn't that, is that a real thing Oh though? yeah, it totally oh, okay. still happens. And he has like a hat on and stuff. Okay. It's weird. How do they get a hat on the ground? I don't know. <laughs> now I'm questioning the ethics of what are they doing to this war ground hog? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. But <laughs> anyway, there's some fun little things you can do to teach your kids this winter. Um, we're coming into Valentine's Day. I have a huge ton of Valentine's Day stuff. I won't go into all of that. Yeah, but do like, but what are your two favorites? A couple of favorites. Okay, so... I have these really fun geometric hearts that I made out of pipe cleaners and straws, like paper okay. straws, so they're cute colors. And we built like a heart shape, and that was so fun to do. Um, another really fun, well, I can't decide. Oh. <laughs> we made these LED roses where the rose lights up, and it's like a oh, pen. You could do it with a pen or with like a stick if you wanted. But it was a lot of fun. So it's like a, a rose on top, and it has a little light in the center. And oh, that's cute. So that was fun. And then another that I love, this was just a Cupid's arrow game. So I made on a poster board hearts with like a target, but it was a heart-shaped target. Mm -hmm. And they have points. And we had straws and Q-tips. And oh, we shot them that. onto the, to the board. And then they had to tally up their scores. And so it was like a math game. And that was a lot of fun. Seriously. So there's a few. This is Karen's can... life. This is like a glimmer of her brain. Of how okay, I was thinking about this is. today. As I was preparing to do this episode, um, these are not everyday things. 
No. I, I want you guys to know that this is not my everyday. Yeah. <laughs> my everyday fun, is my very day. average and very normal. But every so often, I just want to do a fun thing with my kids. And, and I love that I can and that I have that option and that we can just make learning engaging and interesting and different once in a while. And don't expect it to look like this every day because it's not going to. That's really good, like, just to remember. Because I know that you don't do it every day, mm -hmm. but maybe you guys are thinking, like, every day Carmen's like, oh, I created It's this. not magic, magic every amazing. day at my house. Most days are very normal <laughs> and very boring. But yeah. we do throw in a lot of fun here and there, and I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. So. No, that's super cute. That is so fun. Okay, head over to her web website, teachbesideme.com. She has great stuff for all holidays and everything, but this one's specific for winter stuff. Yeah. It's so fun. And especially co-op, I feel like her, you could, because I always oh, create yeah, my own Oh yeah, lots of these are great for using at co-ops. Yes, yeah. and so don't create your own, like why reinvent the wheel? Mm -hmm. It's a pain in the butt, and it won't look as cute. <laughs> and librarians use these also. I've seen my ideas used at different, like the library days. Oh, have you? That's mm -hmm. adorable. That kind of makes, makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, come on over and have some fun with us. Yeah. Okay. Leave me a comment while you're there. It'll make my day. It does. <laughs> Just like we're human. It totally makes it. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.